what does this mean? I think the bottom line message is um, that we have to be our own knights in shining armor. It's going to be up to us uh, to pull together. Um, thank God we've got the resources in this community and I think we have the spirit to do that. The assembly, as you know, last week um, provided for the sales tax relief uh, to make sure that no sales tax would be imposed on the energy surcharge, first step. As you might imagine, in many respects, uh, we're writing the playbook as we go. This is an unprecedented situation and we're struggling. We're going to make some mistakes and we will correct those mistakes. I think one of them and trying to find a point where the community is comfortable with the role that government should be playing, city government, your government, uh, in <coughs> making sure that people who are going to be suffering, suffering the severest consequences of the um, price spike are um, appropriately served. And tonight at five o'clock, we will be looking at a different uh, formulation a formulation that would not be possible but for the um, uh, offers of assistance from United Way, from Catholic Community Services and the General Economic Development Council. The proposal we'll be putting forward tonight will be one in which uh, JDC will be responsible for administering an emergency relief loan program for small businesses and uh, with respect to nonprofits, but primarily households uh, who would otherwise have difficulty in meeting uh, uh, the, uh, the demands financially on them. And we intend to grant, so the recommendation is to grant money to United Way, uh, which will be the umbrella for, for this effort. That is our next uh, response. I trust it will not be the last response from local government, but we're going to try and for <coughs> to try and meet this emergency. In terms of energy conservation, uh, I have at the back of the room, if, if you feel free to grab one of these right here, I don't have enough to let everybody walk out the batch, but it's something that will be arriving in your mail back the box today or tomorrow. It's uh, energy suggestions about what you can do in your homes and, and businesses. Uh, one thing I'd like to particularly plug is uh, thinking about saving water, which seems in some respects a very strange thing to do in a place uh, that is blessed with water. But every gallon that gets to your house had to be pumped, and every gallon that leaves your house gets to be treated. And right now, with the uh, current prices, we're running, as of today, uh, approximately $15,000 a day. There's a, but providing water and processing it are the two major cost centers for city government. It also has the consequence, of course, of being a major demand for energy. But let me just finish with this. I, I truly believe four things. One is we are all in this together. We're going to weather this storm. Juno is going to be a better and stronger community because of it. And when we look back in our lifetimes, we'll be able to say this was one of our finest hours. We're all in together. Thanks for your help.